Starting out this week, if you're a parent or you're the child of a parent, so essentially everybody, you're going to be moved by the new single from Old Man Ludica. It describes a moment he had in the grocery store where he had his kids in, in the shopping cart and he was kind of getting annoyed with how much they were misbehaving and there was an old man behind them in the line and he said, you know, these early days, you got to treasure these early days, they just, they just go so fast. So this song is about appreciating those early struggling days of childhood, whether you were a child or whether you were a parent, you're probably going to shed some tears of this. It's the new Old Man Ludica, it's called The Early Days, and it's out now. You got to hold on, it goes so fast, these early days, well, they don't last. Up next, a couple of weeks ago on Twitter, I asked the question, who is the next Grateful Dead? Who is the next fish? Who is the jam band that hippies are flocking to right now and moving and grooving and putting their arms in the air like this for two or three hours at a time? Well, the answer to that question is Tame Impala. Tame Impala may be marking the return of psychedelic music to the musical mainstream. Their concerts last three and a half to four hours. Their songs last half hour, hour, non-stop jams, but people are fervently in love with them. And unlike the dead and unlike fish, you can wear shoes and still enjoy them. The new Tame Impala is called Currents. Let your freak flag fly and check it out on July 18th. And finally, were you ever worried you wouldn't hear any more new music from James Taylor? Well, so was James Taylor. In fact, he was worried that he had lost the songwriting bug, that he'd never be able to write another song again. He hadn't released an album since 2002, so last year he asked his family if he could disappear from them for just a couple of months. He went into a cabin out in the woods the same way he recorded his first couple of records and just wrote until he had an album's worth of songs. And guess what? Because he wrote them in the same environment as those early records, this is the strongest James Taylor music there has been since those early records. So if you're a fan of Sweet Baby James, if you're a fan of Fire and Rain, you're gonna love the new James Taylor. It's called Before This World, and it's out now. Ain't no kind of plan to be carrying on For my mind ought to be dead and gone I said, oh, the damage done yeah. All right, that's it for me this week. Uh, internet people, you can go back to playing Lemmings or Minesweeper or whatever you were doing. You can also find me every single weekday morning, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. on CBC Radio 2. My name's Tom Power. Later on. Hi there, I'm Julie Nasralla. I'm the host of Tempo on CBC Radio 2. So, what'd you think? Did you love this video? You want more? Well, share it, baby. Share it, like it, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your comment in the comment box.